Excuse me. Tap dancer coming through. Step and skip. Step and skip. Step and skip. <laughs> Careful, Olivia. The floor's slippery. I don't want you to step and slip. Okay, Mom. But look. Backwards. You like that, William? Watch this. Sweetie, why don't you take a break? I can't. I have to rehearse for my tap dance recital tonight. Francine and I are partners, and we want our dance to be tap-tastic. That's tap dancer talk for super Watch do out for the Oh, Olivia, are you all right? I'm fine. But I don't think my foot is. There you go. One shiny new cast for a newly sprained foot. Now you can stand up and walk around, and your foot will be fine. You're right. It doesn't hurt a bit. Does that hurt? Nope. How about that? Still nope. Uh. Huh? <sighs> so, is that it? Almost. Olivia needs a few more things. Crutches to help you keep your balance. And because you're such a good patient... Sticky stickers! Wearing a cast is a lot like wearing a tiara. It's fancy and special and looks good with everything. I can't wait to show Francine. <laughs> Ian. Well, Francine, what do you think? I think... I think... You think it's pretty cool. I know. You want to sign it? I saved you a place. What's wrong? How are you going to tap dance in our show tonight with a sprained foot? Easy. Like this. Whoa! <laughs> That's what I was afraid of. Wait. I forgot to use my crutches. I really like being your partner, but we have to quit fooling ourselves. You can't dance with a cast on your foot. Sorry. Hey, Olivia. Some of my stickers are falling off. Can I borrow one of yours? Quit it, Ian. I'm trying to think. I've got to find a way to dance in my recital tonight. Maybe I just need a better cast. I wonder... <sighs> Is the patient ready for a much, much better cast? Ready, Doc. Prepare for full cast formation. Thanks, Doc. This cast is much better. I'll never fall now. It just needs one more thing. Look! I'm dancing! I'm dancing! I'm falling! I'm falling! <sighs> There's got to be some way I can dance without falling down, Ian. I just wish I knew what it was. Hey! That's it! I'll build my own rolling walker. <laughs> It'll be just like William's, only bigger. And instead of rolling and walking, I'll roll and dance. You know something, Olivia? With the right wheels, this just might work. Did you find any wheels yet? No. But I found this. Perfect. Come on! What about wheels? I think we still need wheels, Olivia. I'll be right back. Here you go, Ian. Wheels. Lots of them. Yeah! All right, William. Snack time is over. What do you say we go for a roll? Huh? <laughs> 
Hey, have you kids seen the wheels for William's... I hope you don't mind, Dad. But we needed them for my invention. See? Huh. I sit in here, and my legs come out there. I call it the Olivia Tip Top Tapper. It'll help me dance in my recital tonight. Your recital? But, Olivia, what about your foot? A dancer never quits, Dad. <laughs> well, as long as a dancer puts all the wheels back when she's done, on with the show. This is terrific. Uh -huh. I'm so excited about this. Good afternoon, everyone. And welcome to our top dance recital. There's a lot of excitement backstage. The dancers can't wait to show you everything they've learned. So, let's begin our show. Hi, Olivia. Hi, Francine. Olivia! Ready for our big dance? No! I mean, yes. I mean, I didn't think you'd be dancing, so... I found another partner. Harold Hawkenberry? <laughs> Hi, Olivia. Wonderful job, boys! And now, our next dancers, Sophie and Alexandra, will dance to Snappy Feet. Thanks, Harold, but I can take it from here. You mean I don't have to dance? Phew! Could I still wear the hat? Go for it. Everything's ready, Olivia. What's ready? You'll see. And now, for our final act, Francine. And Olivia. And Olivia. Olivia? William needs to walk before he learns to dance. And both of you need to get some sleep. But I'm not a teeny bit tired. They say good night, Olivia. Your big day is through. But how can I sleep? There's still so much to do. It looks like I'm tucked inside, snug in my bed. But tomorrow is chasing today through my head. Will I climb the highest mountaintop or will I paint my masterpiece? Go ride a bronco in the rodeo or wild and crowd on my trapeze. Princess, doctor, author, astronaut, from jungle start to ocean deep. I'll do anything, go anywhere, just don't ask me to go to sleep. There's still so much to do. Good morning, class. I'd like you to help me welcome someone new who's joining us for the day, Ms. Stern. Hello, Hello Ms. Stern. Stern. Is she a teacher? No, Olivia. She's come to watch our class. 
I'm picking the best teacher to win the city's Teacher of the Year award. She will win for sure. Mrs. Hagenmuller, what does the Teacher of the Year get? Their picture on the side of every school bus in town. I've always dreamed of being on a school bus. I'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure Mrs. Hagenmuller wins that award. Let's get started, class. Ni hao, children. Ni hao, Mrs. Hagenmuller. Very good. I see you remember how to say hello in Mandarin Chinese. Mrs. Hagenmuller is definitely going to win. Now, let's begin the day with our morning chores. Olivia and Daisy, it's your turn to clean the frog's terrarium. No problem, Mrs. Hagenmuller. Whatever it takes to help Mrs. Hagenmuller win Teacher of the Year. I'll hold Hopper and you clean. Okay. <laughs> hey, wait. Why can't I hold Hopper and you clean the cage? I'm holding that frog. No, I'm holding that frog. Something ew. wrong, girls? Olivia lost Hopper. No, I didn't. He's right around here somewhere. Well, go find him, please. Oh, no. Look! <gasps> Gotcha! Uh, look, I'm a princess. Oh, excuse me. Whew, that was close. You hold Hopper, mm -hmm. I'll clean the terrarium. Ooh, very nice terrarium cleaning, girls. Very nice indeed. Mrs. Hagenmuller's going to win. She's going to get her face on a bus. I wouldn't want my face on a bus. I think it would be great to have my face on a bus. Or any place, really. It would show that I'm the best at something. I wonder. <laughs> Woohoo! Nice one! <gasps> Even better! Whoa! That's the best ever! One, two, three! Eyes on me! It's puppet story time! Awesome. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Goldilocks. She went for a walk in the forest and came upon a house. Goldilocks and the three bears! Everyone's favorite! Not everyone's. Which is something that we would never do. Mrs. Stern must be really bored. I know how to wake her up! Achoo! <laughs> Ew. Oh, my. Do you need to see the nurse, Olivia? No, I can't leave. I feel better. It won't happen again. Well, all right. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Oh, this part is too hot. <laughs> oh, this part is too cold. <laughs> This board is just right! Mrs. Hoganmuller! Yes? Sorry, it's just that your story is so exciting. Can I play the bears? Why not? My bears are very loud. Sure to keep everyone awake. <gasps> oh, no! Who's been in our house? Who's been eating our porridge? Growl! Er, I have. And I'm very sorry. Sorry's not good enough. Here's a song about it. Rawr! Get out of our house. Stop eating our food. Don't sleep in our beds. Don't sleep at all. Stay awake, stay awake, stay awake, wake, wake. And she left the house and the bears lived happily ever after. The end. Rawr! Thank you, Olivia, for that very loud performance. <laughs> How'd I do? You kept Miss Stern awake the whole time. Okay, class, it's craft time. Oh, yes. oh, yes. Yes. Yay! There's nothing bad about craft time. Where's the red paint? Daisy's using it. Uh-oh, one more squeeze and Miss Stern will be red. 
Teacher of the Year. There's no learning going on here. Just shenanigans. Goodbye. <sighs> oh, well. There's always next year. Free play outside. It's not fair. Mrs. Hogenmuller is the best teacher. Yeah. Remember when she taught us the planets by dressing up like them? And when she taught us addition and subtraction using apples? The planet Neptune is blue. And one plus one is two. The planet Neptune is blue. And one plus one is two. Hey, that rhymes like a song. <gasps> That's it. We'll show Mrs. Hogenmuller that to us, she's the best teacher ever. Gather round, everyone. We're going to do a show. Class, it's time to... <gasps> We have something to show you, Mrs. Hockenmuller. Hit it! You taught us how to write a sentence, some mathematics, too. Camels of humps, planet Neptune is blue. We learned to ask a question when something isn't clear. So to us, your teacher of the year. We learned that words aren't always spelled how you think. Some Olivia, and thank you, everybody. Imagine that. I'm Teacher of the Year. Look at me. I'm on a school bus. Let's go for a ride. Yes! Yes! Did you know that there are 365 days in a year? And flies taste with their feet? That's incredible, dear, and a little gross. Do you know how many minutes until bedtime? Uh, zero? You're exactly right. Uh, but wait. They say good night, Olivia. Your big day is through. But how can I sleep? There's still so much to do. It looks like I'm tucked inside, snug in my bed. But tomorrow is chasing today through my head. Good night, Olivia. Sunglasses? Check. Tickets? Check. Suntan lotion? Toothbrush? Underwear? Check, check. And definitely check. Hi, Francine. Hi, Julian. Ready for your cruise vacation, Olivia? Almost. I never knew planning a vacation was so much work. There's so much work because there's so much fun stuff to do. You're on a big boat sailing across the ocean. Sounds boring. You left Perry's leash at my house. 
Why is it in two pieces, Daisy? I was trying to get rid of the smell, so I asked my mom to put it in the washer. Oh, well. A cruise is not boring. There's so much to do on the ship. Like dancing, games, fancy food, entertainment, fancy party, more fancy food, swimming, and an amazing buffet of even more fancy food. That sounds very fancy. That's not all. The boat stops at interesting places, like tropical islands. Or pirate <laughs> islands? Sorry. <laughs> Are you really stopping on a pirate island? We don't know. The whole thing is a surprise. We could be doing anything, going anywhere. I wonder. Attention passengers, scuba diving begins now. For let's go get on the big boat. Bye bye. Fun Anchors away. Bye guys. Cool. Yes, it is cool, Ian. This is going to be the coolest vacation ever. I meant the cool spots all over my arms and my legs too. Want to scratch one? They it. It's not contagious, but Ian's got dermospotitis. It means itchy spots. It should go away by itself in a day or two. Can we still go on the boat? <laughs> Sorry, Ian. You need to stay home until the spots go away. I think it's best you plan your cruise for another time. Thank you, Doctor. But I've been waiting for this cruise for forever, and I already feel better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, that feels good. <sighs> Oh, who's up for a jigsaw puzzle? All my dreams over in an instant. <gasps> Everyone, we are still going on a cruise. How? You'll see. Just be ready at 0900 hours. Okay. What's 0900 hours? Boat talk for 9 o'clock in the morning. Be ready. We'll be there. Francine, I need to plan a backyard cruise. A cruise. Okay, you'll need an ocean and a really, really big boat and several buffets with fancy food and lots of activities, shuffleboard, dance classes, bingo. I can do that. Attention, passengers. Put on your sunblock. The SS Olivia is setting sail soon. SS, SS Olivia? Olivia? <gasps> I'll get it. Hello, crew. Thanks for helping out. No problem, Olivia. It's going to be fun. Of course it's going to be fun. I helped plan it. You left this dog toy at my house, too. It was so old, it fell apart in the washing machine. It wasn't old. It was brand new. And it was his favorite. I know just how you can make it up to me. All aboard! The ship is about to leave. A ship? I'm Francine, the captain's assistant. Captain Olivia is waiting for you. Welcome aboard, everyone. Julian, start the engine. It's time to cast off. Whoa! Oh, wonderful. I'll stay here. I get seasick. Sorry, captain's orders. Engines are on, Captain Olivia. Next stop, Olivia Island. Seriously. Olivia Island. Land ho! Wow! Welcome to our tropical island. I didn't know we had our own island. Looks fake. Relax, passengers. Have some juice from the exotic tropical box tree. Enjoy the view and have fun. Two, please. That's more like it. Ian, 
watch out for the waves. Oops. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> you got Daisy. Cruises are not fun. Okay, passengers. Better save your energy for our next activity, Punch. Oh, now that's really impressive. I wouldn't say no to a cupcake. Whoa! You can finish the cupcake. Then you get to be the entertainment. What entertainment? <laughs> hey, can you play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? How are you feeling, Ian? I'm still a little itchy. But look, no more spots. So, Ian, what do you want to do next? Hmm. <gasps> a vest, sweet mateys! I have taken control of your ship. Oh, no, a pirate! <laughs> That's right. You better not cross me, or I'll make her walk the plank. I am not walking any plank. Oh, yes, you are, Mitty. Uh-oh. The, the ship! ship. Whoa! Whoa. We don't have any life rafts. We have a special life raft. Climb aboard, everybody. I've had enough. Daisy, you can't just stand up in the middle of the ocean. Not with sharks around. We are not in the ocean. We're on grass. And there aren't any... Shark! <laughs> 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 now that you're better, we can go on a real cruise. Who needs a real cruise? This was the best cruise ever. Well then, everybody sing. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sailors, time for bed. Can we go back to Olivia Island? The next island you're going to is the Island of Sweet Dreams. Yeah! Taking us on that great cruise really helped Ian feel better, Olivia. Now, time for sleep. They say good night, Olivia. Your big day is through. But how can I sleep? There's still so much to do. It looks like I'm tucked inside, snug in my bed. But tomorrow is chasing today through my head. Will I climb the highest mountains off? Or will I paint my masterpiece? Go ride a bronco in the rodeo. Or wild and crowd on my trapeze. Princess, doctor, author, astronaut. From jungle start to ocean sea. Good night, Olivia. <laughs>